and I'm recording there. Everything's working. Yay. Welcome. We are live from the quarantine and uh, I'm super excited as all as every day that I do these these uh, workouts um, to do this Friday workout and we're going to be doing an AMRAP. So as many rounds as possible. Uh, for 10 minutes and um, we'll in our warm-up we'll go through every single one of those exercises so that we're familiar with all of it before we start we make sure we have all of our equipment and everything like that um, you will need either a set of dumbbells um, a kettlebell um, or a book or whatever whatever you got you know so um, and if you have a chair or a coffee table where you can do chair dips that would be fantastic mat to warm up would be great um, story of the day. I love this story of the day. And um, this is about, um, there's this lion and this lion is sleeping in the, for, in the uh, jungle. And uh, he um, feels this mouse run across his nose and he takes his big paw and he puts the paw down onto the mouse. He's about to kill the mouse for waking him up. And the mouse screams out, please, please spare me, spare me. And someday I shall repay the favor. And the, the, the lion guffaws and he's like, ha ha ha, as if this mouse could help me someday. But he was feeling generous and he let the mouse go. So a few days later, the lion was chasing prey in the forest and he fell underneath the hunter's net and was caught and was not able to move and was roaring loudly throughout the forest. And the mouse was familiar with this lion's roar and he and she, I'm sorry, ran to the, to the lion and started to chew through the, the hunter's ropes and set the lion free. And the mouse said, you laugh when you said, when you laugh when I said I could repay you someday, but you can see that even a mouse can save a lion. And um, the reason why I really love this story right now is I think I mentioned the other day that Josh and I are watching uh, the documentary Last Dance, which is about Michael Jordan and uh, the Bulls and uh, this, this crazy, crazy season with them. And we've talked before about Michael Jordan's history, about how he was very discounted as a youth um, because he wasn't tall enough and he wasn't as good of a basketball player as his brother. And um, in this documentary, his dad is actually talking about Michael, uh, a younger Michael, and, uh, and he was like, yeah, he wasn't as good of a basketball player as his brother. Um, he was short. He, um, I, his brother and I would work on home improvement projects. And if I asked Michael to help and I said, Michael, hand me a hammer, Michael would hand me pliers. And he's like, get in the house, go be with your mom. You'll never amount to anything. And his dad is actually saying this in the documentary, you know? And it's like, it's like, I, I would just think about that, like as Michael as the mouse, you know? And it's like, how many people have we ever marginalized or discounted because of something like that, that, that they didn't align with what we hoped from them, that we wished from them? How many Michael Jordans do we have inside of us? What is our Michael Jordan with, uh, in us that could come out at any moment, you know? And, um, and I just, I, I really, really, I really love that story. Um, and you know, you are, you are Michael Jordan. You have something like that in you, something that's so special and so wonderful that nobody should have the ability to put down and you should believe in yourself. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into our workout right now. Gonna get, get our stretches on. All right, let's start on the floor. I love this Cossack stretch to start. Oh boy, it's just such a nice, gentle way to get going. All right, that leg is directly out from that hip. I'm bringing that butt back to my foot and I'm rocking forward. Butt back to foot and rocking forward. Shoot that mic's on. About 10 times, guys. Ten. All right. Raise that leg five times. Three, four, five. All right. Let's switch it out to the other side. Back and forth. Ah. Get those wrists nice and warmed up. Just a gentle little rock over those. If you need to, you can always come down on your fists. I like to call this the superhero pose. I just made that up, by the way. <laughs> All right, 
Now we're gonna do that leg lift, trying not to lift that hip. We're just feeling that inner glute five times. Oh boy, nice. Now, I wanna go into my frog stretch. So I'm gonna bring those knees out to the side. I'm gonna have those feet directly off from my knees. I'm gonna rock it forward. I'm gonna squeeze, I'm sorry, I'm gonna push it back. I'm gonna squeeze those knees together for five, four, three, two, one. And now I want you to relax, all right? Maybe get those knees out a little bit more and push back and five, four, three, two, one. Rock it forward. <clears throat> all right, guys, one more time. Pushing it back for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. I always like going from the frog stretch right into the pigeon stretch. Now, I'm in this high plank, bringing that knee forward in between my hands. My back leg stays active. All right. I'm going to breathe into this and I'm going to push the hip that's over that foot down. So I'm rotating my hips down, which is going to make them level, keeping that back leg really active. Give me two breaths in and out. All right, let's switch it out to the other side. Hey guys, the leaf blower guy's coming. I have to shut the door really fast before he blows leaves in here. All right. Hopefully he gave me some really good deep breaths with that. Okay, let's go ahead and go into this high kneeling position. I'm gonna bring my head forward my thumbs are going to be pointed up at the ceiling and I'm going to be bringing my head around about five times, super gentle. All right, then we're going to take it to the other way. Between the leaf blower and the radio guys, I need to turn something down. <laughs> All right, five times both ways. All right, let's go ahead and stand up. Let's go ahead and do some arm swings in this horizontal plane. Being, don't be forceful with it. Just let that inertia swing those arms. All right, guys, then let's go into this vertical plane, getting those arms back, but just swinging them. Ah. All right, now we're gonna do some smaller arm circles and we're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger as we go. Get this really nice full range of motion with it. All right, now let's start the other way, small. Getting bigger as we go. Whoa, yeah, really feeling that this morning. All right, let's go ahead into our yoga windmill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into this high plank. I'm gonna bring that foot next to that hand. I'm gonna reach forward. I'm gonna bring this knee towards you. I'm gonna lock out this back leg. I'm gonna reach. My hand rotates. Then my, my palm is gonna face that back wall. I'm gonna bring that elbow down. I'm gonna switch it out to the other side getting into that position, making sure that this knee is over this ankle, this back leg is really active and really straight. Rotating that hand, following that hand with the eyes, coming back down, switching it out. Whoa, one more time on each side. This is feeling particularly good on my shoulder this morning. Woo! 
All right. One more time. World's greatest stretch. Elbow towards the ground. Come up. Okie dokie. Let's get our shoulders warmed up just a little bit more by doing our inchworms. So guys, when I come down, I'm gonna to try to touch the floor. If not, just hang there, but I want you to feel this stretching your hamstrings. As you walk it forward, come into this high plank where your butt is at the same level as your shoulders, and then come back in. Feel this stretch at the top. Walk it out. Walk it back in. Give me five of these. Lock out your glutes when you're in this high plank. Really squeeze those glutes. Feel your thoracic spine pull up to the ceiling. Get that nice little shoulder stretch in there. All right, yay. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of the exercises We'll just make sure that we're get all warmed up. We have all of our equipment available and ready so that when we actually set the timer for 10 minutes, you're able to just go through it and you know exactly what you're doing. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is a spider push-up. You can either do this from the ground or from an elevated surface. I'm gonna do it from an elevated surface. And what a spider push-up is, your feet are gonna be a little on the wide side. Your butt is still elevated. Don't let that butt drop. You're gonna come down into your push-up where you come to your surface, then you're gonna bring elbow to knee. You're gonna come down to the surface, you're gonna go elbow to knee, okay? So switch it out each time. Give me five on each side to start. Get that nice stretch. When that, el when that knee comes to elbow, Make sure to keep those elbows in, guys. Don't let those elbows flare out and put strain on that shoulder. <sighs> All right. Next, we're, what we're gonna do is our forward lunges. I'm gonna get rid of my mat so I don't trip on it. All right. So for my forward lunges, if you want, you can grab a couple of your dumbbells or you can hold this in a goblet-like position. I'm gonna grab two of my dumbbells and I'm going to step forward and back in. Step forward and back in. So guys, really think about all that weight going into that lead leg and then that lead leg actually pushes you back. All right, now we're gonna be doing, using this as a strength exercise. So what I mean by that is my knee is about eight to 12 inches away from my back heel. And then I come back in. I'm not doing mobility. I'm not doing this really long lunge with it. I'm doing more of a strength exercise. So my knee is in closer to my heel. All right. Go ahead and give me five on each side. All right. Next guys, we have our mountain climbers. So I'm gonna let you do this one of two ways. You can either do a regular mountain climber or cross body. For me, I like cross body because for some reason, my femur really clicks up into my hip when I do regular mountain climbers. But for a regular mountain climbers, it's just knee to elbow, knee to elbow, boom, boom. Cross body, opposite knee to opposite elbow, all right? So go ahead and give me 10 on each side right now. Either way. Now, if you wanna speed these up, you can go faster with it. All right. Now, we have our TFW twists. 
So we're on the ground. Now my feet are either gonna touch the ground to make it easier, or they're gonna be elevated. The thing I want you to make sure is that you're not curving that back. Keep that back really straight. If that means keeping your toes on the ground, then do it. You're gonna have your weight. You're gonna hold it in close to your chest. It's not gonna be down here, it's gonna be up here. And you're gonna go just to the outside of your thighs as fast as you can. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 for the warm up. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And then we're gonna go into our high pull. So we're gonna really work on the form of this high pull, guys. If you have two weights, great. Just one kettlebell or one dumbbell will do also. But what you're gonna do, your feet are gonna be in a more narrow stance because then you're gonna go into this RDL. From the RDL, what you're gonna do is you're gonna power up through those legs. You're gonna come into an upright row, up onto those toes, really bringing that pelvis forward at the top, squeezing those glutes, locking out those legs, all right? So, boom. Make sure you establish that RDL before you start. Boom. So in that RDL, I'm pulling my butt to the back wall. My hands are beneath my knees. My back is flat. I'm not losing those lats. Boom. Boom. Give me 10. Really squeezing those hips forward, coming up onto those toes, always leading with those elbows in those upright rows. <sighs> ha! So I fall over a little bit. <laughs> All right. Guys, next. That was actually the first five uh, exercises in our first circuit. Now we're going to go into the five exercises in our second circuit. Again, just to make sure that we're all set up, we're all ready to go. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do chair dips. So I'm going to come over to my elevated surface, whether it's a chair, couch, coffee table. Now you can either, if you want to make it easier, have those legs at a 90 degree angle. Keep that butt close to that surface. Don't be extended out this way, all right? Keeping that butt in. Really squeeze those triceps at the top. If you want to make this harder, bring those legs out, all right? Now, if you don't have a surface where you can do this from, I'm going to go ahead and have you do tricep extensions, keeping those elbows in close to your head, and then squeezing and making sure you get those arms extended at the top. All right, so go ahead and give me 10 of those. Either chair dips or the tricep extensions. There you go. Now, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. So we're gonna be stepping back and coming in. Again, we're not doing a mobility lunge, we're doing a strength lunge. So we're going pretty much into a 90-90 with both of those legs, all right? Now, you wanna make this harder during the workout, you'll do all 10 on one side, all 10 on the other. You wanna make it easier, switch it out each time. Same rule applies to the reverse lunge as the forward lunge. The leg that's in front is the leg that takes the weight and the, weight, the leg that pulls you back up, all right? Resist the urge to push, you wanna pull. All right, so go ahead and give me five on each side. And then we're gonna go into our dead bugs. So I'm gonna lay down on my back. I'm either gonna have my legs at a 90 degree angle or straight. I prefer to have them straight just for me. I'm gonna lock out those legs. My arms and legs are always gonna start at the top together. Then I'm gonna switch it out, come back up, switch it out. So what I like to do is I like to actually touch that leg with that hand just to make sure that I'm hitting that opposite arm with opposite leg, all right? I want you to lock out those legs. I want you to feel tension in the legs. As you feel that extension with that arm and that leg that are reaching towards the ground. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, five on each side. Okay, so then we have our penguins. So for my penguins, I'm on the ground, getting that lower back pushed into the ground. I'm up on my shoulder blades and I'm reaching down the sides of those shoes. All right, so guys, our warm up numbers are gonna be different from our actual exercise numbers. I'm just having you do 10 on each side right now. Nine and 10. And then to finish, we're gonna do swimmers. So we're gonna lay down on our bellies and we're gonna push those feet into the ground. We're gonna reach forward with our hands. Fingers are splayed out. I'm gonna pull my elbows back to my hips. I'm gonna come up slightly onto my abdomen. So go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nine, squeezing those shoulder blades together when you're bringing those elbows back to the hips, okay? So those are all the exercises for the two different AMRAPs that we're gonna do. Let's grab some water and then I'll talk you through it. I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. You're gonna go at your own pace, at your own speed. Um, and you can go faster if you want to. I wanna get more of a strength workout from this than a cardio workout. So I'm gonna make sure that everything that I do is super deliberate, all right? Um, we're gonna start with our spider push-ups. We're gonna do five on each side. So what that means is that's a total of 10 push-ups and then five leg to elbow on each side. Then we're gonna go into our forward lunges. We're gonna do 10 on each side, all right? Then we're gonna go mountain climbers. We're gonna do 15 on each side. We have our TFW twists, 15 on each side, and then we have our high pulls, and we're doing 10 of those, all right? So I'll do it with you. I will count it out as I do it, and then you can go slower or faster or whatever you need to do. We're not gonna take a lot of rest with this. I'm only gonna take about 30 seconds of rest before I start back into it. If you're feeling great, just go back into it. If you're feeling gassed, take more rest than 30 seconds, all right? So we're gonna start with our spider push-ups, and we're going in three, two, one, hit it. So coming down, making sure my push-up is perfect. It's one. <clears throat> Really trying hard to get that knee as high up as you can to that elbow. Three. That's four. And that's five. Awesome. Now we have our forward lunges. For this, I'm gonna grab my weights. You can do it without weights. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Two. That's three. Trying to get that knee, that back knee, about an inch off the ground. Four. Five. Lock out those triceps. Keep those arms active. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Now I have my 15 mountain climbers on each side. Again, you could do straight mountain climbers. These you can do fast if you want. I'm gonna do cross body for mobility. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I have my TFW twist. Fifteen on each side. Keeping that chest straight. Three. Going as fast as you can. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Fifteen of those. Now I'm going to go into my high pull, starting with that RDL, making sure I feel this in my hamstrings, coming up on those toes, bringing those hips forward at the top. Boom. Ten of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. That was one round. Now, you get to speed up, you get to slow down, however you want to go. I'm going to take about 30 seconds of rest, and then I'm going to go into my next round. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling strong, just go for it. All right. Got about 10 more seconds. Then I'm going back into my spider push-ups. Five on each side. One. One. Guys, don't lose those butts. Make sure that butt is slightly raised. This is my fifth one. All right. This time with my forward lunges, I'm going to do all 10 on one side, and then I'm going to do all 10 on the other. Now again, if you want to make it easier, oops, I just started doing that the wrong way. <laughs> you want to make it easier, alternate. Six, seven, eight. Nice job, guys. Nine, 10. Seven, eight. If you're done with these, you're going into your mountain climbers. 10, 15 mountain climbers. Either cross body or just regular. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you have wrist issues, use your dumbbells. Guys, I just want you to make sure that you're keeping those shoulders over those wrists. Now we have our TFW twists. So keeping that back upright. 15, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we have our high pulls. Woo! All right. Making sure I get that really nice RDL. Boom. Get those hips forward at the top. Think about getting that weight in your foot, into your toes, and the inside of your big toe for stability when you get up at the top. Don't have the weight of your feet come to the outside. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! All right. Guys, we got about three minutes left. I'm gonna take about 20 seconds of rest. Again, you can take more or less. It's up to you. I'm feeling a little gas right now. Baby, it's because I'm talking throughout. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more round through. Come into my spider push-ups. Boom. Boom. Three, two, <laughs> two. 
Nice little stretch in that leg, in that glute. As you're doing this, All right, now I have my forward lunges. Forward lunges. This time I'm gonna do all 10 again on the one side and then I'm gonna do all 10 on the other. You can alternate, that is not a problem. Switching it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you're done, you're going into your mountain climbers. 15 on each side. We got this, guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! Right into my TFW twist. One, two, 15, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, then I got my high pulls. High pulls. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Guys, we got ten seconds left. We're going to go ahead and go into our rest period before we start our next AMRAP. We're going to grab water. We're going to get some sufficient rest. Yee. All right. See you for our next circuit of am wraps this is when we start and just watch me while you rest this is when we start with our chair dips so either my legs are at a 90 degree angle either they're out straight keeping that butt in tight or you're going to do overhead tricep extension all right so we got that and then we have our reverse lunges i'm going to use my weights again you step back this time but the same thing applies, that lead leg, this leg in front is the leg that takes all the weight, all the strength, and it's the late leg that you stand back up on. Don't push off that back leg. And again with this, you can either alternate either side to make it easier. If you wanna make it harder, do it all on one side. Then we have our dead bugs. So guys, when you're doing these dead bugs, I don't want you to do this as like a throwaway exercise. I want you to keep those legs really locked out. I want you to keep those arms really strong. I want you to push that lower back into the ground, switching it out each time. You should feel tension in your entire body when you're doing these dead bugs, all right? I especially feel this in my glutes when I'm doing it and in my quads because I'm really locking out those legs, okay? So we got that. Then we're still on the ground for our penguins pushing that lower back into the ground as I come up on my shoulder blades. Go into either side, boom, boom, boom. All right. So chair dips, we have 10. Reverse lunges, we have 10. Dead bugs, we have 15. Penguins, we have 15. And swimmers, we have 15, all right? So I'm on my belly, pulling those shoulders, those elbows back as I'm pulling my shoulder blades together, keeping those hands really splayed out. Trying to get that full extension with those arms. People who have shoulder mobility issues, swimmer is fantastic medicine for that, all right? It's really, really good stuff. Okay, guys, we're gonna get after it. 
This is our second set of AMRAPs for 10 minutes. And we're starting in three, two, one. Ah. Yeah, now we are with either chair dips or overhead tricep extensions. So you're getting that really nice stretch at the bottom in those triceps and then really locking them out at the top. If you're doing overhead tricep extension, make sure you keep those elbows in tight to your head and making sure that you get those arms fully extended. These we're doing 10. Your next exercise is gonna be your reverse lunges. All right, stepping back. We're still in that 90-90. We're not going out far with this, guys. We're keeping it as a strength exercise, meaning we're keeping that knee in close to that heel. And I want you to lock out those glutes at the top. Boom. All right, guys, the next thing that we have is our dead bugs. Whoops, 15 on each side. Make sure these are strong. Reach, really reach with these. That extended leg to the wall, that extended arm to the opposite wall, 15. Don't go fast with these, because I want you to stay strong with them. <sighs> Should really be feeling this. Keep that lower back pushed into the ground. Okay guys, your next exercise are your penguins for 15. Ha ha. Feet on the ground, trying to get those heels as close to your butt as possible. Coming up on the shoulders, those shoulders, blades. <laughs> and you're trying to reach as far down, getting that crunch and then extension in those obliques as you go side to side, 15 times, each side. Now, if you're ahead of me, you're gonna go into your 15 swimmers. Ha, all right. Got my 15 swimmers laying on my belly, pushing those feet into the ground, reaching forward, splaying out those fingers. Coming up, as I pull my elbows back, 15 of these. All right. Feeling pretty good, guys. I'm feeling warmed up. Probably only gonna take about 20 seconds of rest. Getting some water. We have about six minutes left. Again, if you wanna go faster than me, that's fine. You're gonna start with either your chair dips or your overhead press, overhead tricep extension, sorry. I'm gonna start with my overhead tricep extension just to show the alternate to the chair dips. Doing 10 of these, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Take it slow. Nine, really get from, not get through. All right, now I have my reverse lunges. This time I'm actually gonna make it harder. I'm gonna do all 10 on one side and then all 10 on the other. Two, three, four, five. Really feeling strong in those arms, locking out those triceps. Ten. 
Nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Now we have our 15. 15. Ha ha ha. Dead bugs. Make them strong. This bug does not want to die. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, uh, eight, nine, uh, ten, whew, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Nice. Whoops, penguins still on the ground. Okay, feeding close to the butt. Really reaching as far down those feet as you can. Fifteen penguins. And then fifteen swimmers. All right. Boom. Really squeeze those shoulder blades as we're doing fifteen swimmers. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. All right. I'm not going to take a whole lot of rest with this next one. We've got about two minutes left. I want to see how far we can get through this next this AMRAP. And then we're going into our seven way hips. As I promise, once a week we're doing seven way hips. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back to my chair dips. If you're doing overhead tricep extensions, just go into those. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm going into my reverse lunges. If the weight is getting too heavy and you feel like your form is suffering, either go to one goblet or go ahead and drop the weight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Dead bugs. Get that lower back pushed into the ground. Legs are strong. Arms are strong. Eight. Nine. Fifteen of these. 10. All right, go ahead, finish up your dead bugs. 
And then we're stopping with this circuit. All right, grab some water, grab a mat or a blanket, whatever you've been using to protect those hips. We're gonna go into our seven way hips. All right. Okay. All right. Seven way hips, guys. Good medicine for those poor little hips that we're sitting on all day. Supporting my head with my hand, hand out in front of me to, to keep me from full, go, going forward. My feet are stacked with my knees, with my hips, with my shoulders. I am one straight line with this, and I'm lifting my leg, not super high, just about at a 45 degree angle, keeping that foot dorsal flexed, all right? 10 times, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keeping that distance, going forward at about a 45, and then to center, four, five, six, seven, don't rush it, eight, nine, 10. Going from center to back, two, three, four, five, six, you should really feel this in your glute, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then from forward to back, 10 of those. Maintaining that distance between those feet, keeping those feet flexed. Three, not extending it too far behind you, nor too far in front of you. Slight hip movements. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 circles, small circles forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten circles back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, guys. Other side. Other side de deserves as much love as the first side. All right. Making sure I'm stacked. Stacked ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. Leg lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then center to forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, center to back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Fully forward to fully back, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, give me big, huge bicycles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Guys, we're going right into our homework with our knee grabs, 10 knee grabs. So my hands are in close to my chest, legs are out straight, grabbing my shins with my hands, bringing those feet flat, coming back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then I have my T-spine push-ups. So feet are wide, coming into my push-up, and then rotating. Five on each side. <clears throat> Two. <clears throat> Three. <clears throat> Four. Ah, last one. Five. All right. Then I have my squats with hamstring bias. So coming into this deep squat, touching my toes, rotating, rotating, and then getting that hamstring stretch. All right, rotating, rotating. Five of these, make sure you get that deep squat at the bottom, get that stretch at the top. Oh, this is my fourth one. And five. Nice job. You did it. Oh, great job, guys. So we had that mouse and lion story. The mouse, the, sorry, the lion underestimated what the mouse could do. Don't estimate, underestimate what you can do in any given situation, in any given challenge. You got, you got that Michael Jordan inside of you. Everybody does. We just have to have those voices inside that also tell us that we can do and have the confidence to do what we need to do at any given moment, all right? So we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. And um, we sent out some texts yesterday um, to people who have told us that they wanna come back and do in-person training. Those who want to stay and do remote training we're gonna have you on a separate text list just so that we're not bombarding you with a whole bunch of text. So once you decide that you wanna come back into the dojo, let us know and we'll add you to those in-person training, emails, texts, correspondences, whatever. But uh, for right now, um, if you haven't received that, that text, it's either because you've told us that you wanna work out remotely or we haven't been able to get a hold of you. So make sure you let us know or just respond to one of the previous texts where I asked to check in, or Josh, Josh asked to check in, because that was all part of that check-in, was finding out if you were interested in remote or in-person training. On the 15th, hopefully, everything goes with, well with the, with the county and they, uh, they let us open back up again, all right? All right, guys. There's Coach Bootsy showing off her brand new Spritzer! So, the virus hates joy, which is why Bootsy is bringing joy to every shaft that she's polishing. <laughs> 